Hello, this is Arabella's Heart for Book Arts. I'm in my living room right now. I wanted to film a little bit. I'm going to <laughs> move everything towards me. Um, yeah, I made a plan for the pages, but I have uh, lots more to show. So this is uh, uh, my, these are my smallest. This is a flip. This is also this is a flip book. I made a flip book out of this one, and this is the small from a few of the smallest sizes. But I want to make a separate file in my Etsy, and I will tell you if that is ready to make only the flip book, for instance, so that it's more um, yeah easier for you guys to understand because I'm uh, yeah it's perhaps it's not that difficult but it's a lot it's just a lot so I want to break it up in pieces that was my idea and uh, yeah these I'm the prototypes I made really small so now the smallest size is this uh, in and that's why I wanted to show you that my intentions were to make a flip and a tag book. So this is the tag uh, book like. And I did make it with the newspaper design now also. So this is also now for sale and this is for sale. So all the designs are for sale but the sizes are different. And that is what I wanted to show you today. The sizes and also wanted to um, share that uh, yeah I uh, did receive something in my mail and I was so amazed I'm happily amazed by it so uh, thank you so much Henrietta one of my uh, design team members she uh, I told her that I wasn't feeling that well so for uh, those of you who don't know me uh, or never saw a video, <laughs> I uh, am, am battling, uh, uh, yeah, I'm always sick, so that's why I'm also working from home and trying to work from home <laughs> at least. <laughs> um, and um, yeah. What I can tell you about that is that I always uh, have nerve pain, so that is really a little bit difficult <laughs> for me to talk about. So I'm, I won't get into that so too much because I don't want to be sobbing. <laughs> so and it's not I'm not a sob story, okay? I'm really an upbeat person. I'm really a positive person as well. So. Um, yeah, so I only told her that I had the flu, which is, was true, I had the flu, but when I have the flu, my illness gets worse, so I have more um, nerve pain. So, so when this came in the mail, I really, <laughs> yeah, I am so happy with this, you don't even know. So, the, er staat, lieve groeten. Riette, which means, uh, yeah, with love from Riette, something like that. So this is, she made this from my design. So this is one of my, one of my page and I can show you because I will, sh I will use that in the, so it's this design. And so I want to uh, show you what she sent me and she made me, this is her first, um, design team member um, project that's, that she made with uh, with my templates with my uh, she used not my templates but she used uh, my designs so she used my design paper and I also have this one that I can show you so she used one of those I have two different a brighter one and more uh, darker one so this uh, is an envelope so I can uh, put something in it and I 
just wanted to show because I w want to show my uh, appreciation that she uh, sent her first um, design to me. Here's also one of those uh, that I just showed you and she used, she used uh, coffee dyed paper and also what I really really loved what you did to the actor is that you put some quotes into it so and they all are about butterflies because my design is about butterflies so so that means a lot to me and I'm really really grateful and I don't know if you can see it but it's really beautiful paper and here she made it like this so into a long pocket uh, uh, um, a page pocket something like that yeah this is a page pocket and here is also um, one of uh, my designs that she used different paper and I am a little bit fiddly or how do you call that a little bit uh, <laughs> can't really so this is also one of yeah I just showed you but I don't want to miss my this is also one of my designs that she used so so yeah that's really be so beautiful so what she showed really is that you can use my designs also so this is also one of my designs but yeah you can use my designs also for smaller uh, projects and that's just what i told her is that you don't have to make a large book what i am making for instance because i made it in six sizes and i also made an add-on and i made a design pa paper and I just uh, said to her, just make what whatever you want. So, and uh, it doesn't always have to be large or big or a lot. So, just make something. Even if uh, you make a small card, just yeah, just make it. So, so it is removable, and that's also really beautifully made. I think with this. Uh, Things. yeah and this card is a library card and she punched she made beautiful uh, friendship it is so beautiful so the, the butterfly counts not months but moments and has time enough <laughs> so pretty oh wow I really love it. So when it came in the mail, I was just uh, happy. <laughs> My daughter, she um, she said, "Mom, mom, we have a package." <laughs> so, and then I hoped it was this, but I thought that that came quickly. <laughs> so this is also one of my new uh, pages that I designed. I didn't use it for this um, upcoming tutorial, but yeah i i just i'm so happy with this and i'm going to treasure it and use it for uh, yeah really if i'm going to write in it first i will treasure it and if i'm going to write in it then i'm going to use really beautiful letters <laughs> try to <laughs> at least <laughs> so that will be so yeah too bad if the, if this is done, you know. If uh, yeah, so and the card in the end. So I wanted to tell you, yeah, thank you so much. I'm so happy with this. And uh, happiness is like a butterfly; it comes and rests quietly on your shoulder when you least expect it. That's also really nice. And here is a stamp, and you see how beautiful she made this so thank you again uh, Rietta. i'm really really happy with this i will treasure it it's now sitting on my mantle 
in my living room just to uh, look at it so it's sitting together like this on my mantle <laughs> it's a mantle piece so thank you thank you so much again I want to show you something because um, when I made these flip books and I showed you a flip book and a tag book and when I showed you I showed you this and they had really small sizes and my idea is now to make a separate um, separate listings in my Etsy uh, yeah for the for the flip and for the tag book so that it is really a little bit more um, easier so now I made uh, it with um, how do you call that uh, spines and stuff and uh, design paper and an add-on and templates and it is a lot so yeah I am working on to improve it and I already impro improved it so the sizes also are different and that's what I wanted to show you so this is um, these are my prototypes uh, this is how I started so I tried it out in a small and, I, and then I tried it tried it with uh, flaps um, and this is what my idea was because th this is really a little bit butterfly like with all those flaps and things and also I'm working on this one this is also almost in my shop now this one and then I made it try the tag book and this one doesn't close really well so this is my prototype so I was I was exploring and thinking about how I should make it and this is already in my shop so I have this design also in my shop now and you can make the tags like this if you want or um, make them come out of there <laughs> on the side and then I made, I, I started to make, um, I made a larger book and um, now I'm starting to make this book. So this is um, the cover that I'm working on and here I have the pages that I will be working on. So I already uh, uh, yeah, looked for which design. So this is uh, what I drew. I drew the, those flowers and then made it into a pattern. So that is one of my uh, designs. And uh, yeah, I wanted to sh wanted to uh, show you because I I want to make eight eight pages. So at first I wanted to uh, uh, yeah show you what is really in uh, my kit. So I already showed it on the computer, so I will uh, make this uh, go faster. In the beginning I will explain some things and then I will make it go faster. So I printed this out and I, I'm working on the color, so I'm still improving as I go. But uh, at the time you see my video, I already improved it, so you don't have to worry about that. So this is the widest spine, so you can make this onto this. Did I print that out wrong, or do I? Yeah, this uh, you can um, stick onto the flaps like that, and then you will have somewhat similar as this one. But then this one I made from patterned paper that I got from my mom and I used my templates for this. So I used my designs that are also templates. So, so this is the front and the back cover and the spine. So here is, this is size 1. So size 1. This is size 2. Size 2 has a flap on the side. And I really wanted to show you how that looks when you print it out. Size 2 also has a spine. And I also made the spine in three uh, sizes in width. So that you can choose... Um, let me see... 
where I got my yeah I did have my ruler with me so I can show you um, exactly what uh, it is so uh, why did this so this is five uh, inches so uh, wide and also I think this is a little bit wider with size one let me check again with size one this was also this is five and a half even uh, so and um, this is already in the eight and a half by eleven so if you're not counting nine and a half so uh, if you if I take the whole width it's uh, eight seven and three quarters by nine and a half so that's the length and the width and then yeah this is the size one length um, spine so I gave each size I gave a spine in the same um, design so in this case it is the newspaper design with a touch of newspaper I call it so this is size two with the size two spine with it and then we go to size um, it says here size three so this is size three and then you will have a spine with open side flaps so this is also uh, a lot a lot less tall and that is because uh, I went from this I went in, into the onto the side for the design so size 3 is a lot smaller yeah it's, it's smaller so like let me see how much but about uh, 2 inches smaller in length at all so and this uh, will fit exactly with the middle with this you can sew the middle onto the spine so because it has a middle and this resembles a little bit of a bodice from a butterfly and also this has a, a little bit of a shape just like you see with this so this is the size, size 3, that was the largest size from my original book that I tried out. So my try out book or how do you call it. Um, so this is the size that I used for uh, sort of the, the cover as you will. And here you will see the same design, but now I made it a little bit lighter. So I I did uh, change that a little bit. I thought this this was a little bit too dark, and I just want to try to make designs so that you can print and your printer doesn't run out of ink. If you know what I mean. I want if you want to know if you have any questions about that just let me know so you can uh, for instance print uh, four or five and then sew them onto the cover and this you can reinforce of course just like I showed you and then because um, with this I had a front and a back cover and with the smaller one I did it a little bit different so I created flaps to go with it so you can also use this as the cover so this is size 3, three and they, I'm calling them inserts if there's only insert and not slash cover then you this fits into this so that is what I already did for you. So this is smaller than this. You can see it over here. This is more wider. And this will fit into that. Depends how you will glue it. If your gluing skills are good, of course. So <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. I will stand up for this. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. 
and this will be size 4 and here I cut the flaps off so in the next size they will fit but now they didn't fit so uh, this is the design as it is and it comes with a spine that has the same height if you uh, don't yeah from here till there the same height as the spine and I'm trying to make the colors more coordinated but that's okay it's newspaper design so <laughs> so with the smaller ones you will have uh, pages or covers just as you want it this can also work as a page in a large book on the side like this and then you can make slits here leave the feelers so that's what I did in my other book and then cut slits and then make cards or you can put the cards or inserts on the side or on the it depends how large you will cut the slits and um, if you leave this white onto it and stick this onto your book and you make the slit you can slide your cards right into it and here are the um, inserts so this is what I call the insert so they will fit into that and these are have a little bit of a different color as well so some of them are yeah I try to make it I already um, changed that a little bit so it is already changed but not not to the extent that they are perfectly the same but they are a little bit like this so the ones that were a little bit gray i managed to get them like this so they are a little bit different but yeah i like that so so now um i have a size six so here you can see uh, this is onto just paper and this is onto cardstock so 110 uh, white recycled cardstock by the way pages with flaps size 6 so this you can do lots uh, of nice things with it you can sew it in the middle onto your spine which I also have of course I will show you so because I had a little bit more room I put two spines onto it so you can do uh, a spine in the in the inside of the book and on the outside of the book so this you can yeah perhaps cut a little bit off I don't know but it will work so this is the length of the inside of the butterfly so this you can score and then um, make holes and then um, yeah sew it in so I will show you for the smaller sizes that will be my next book that I will make so here I had a little bit more room and I designed sort of a flip tag thingy so this can be folded and then this can be folded to whichever side you want it to fold and then you can uh, stick this down but I will show you so three smaller and then these are the inserts mm -hmm flaps and inserts so these fit as flaps as well and that is um, if you want this to stick onto the flap and then you will have a flip book uh, just as I showed you with this one so these are the sizes um, this is the size I think yeah yeah it's a little bit larger so this is this size just about a little bit smaller is this one so because these are um, folded back so i'm going on that uh, line let me see if this will be size uh, five so this is size five 
five four no, five and six and this one I am not uh, I'm making I'm making a new one with that so that you can make a little flip book like this I look like that so and here you also have the flaps and I made these butterfly feelers a little bit larger so you can do that idea with the flip so you can cut this white like this and then cut around the feelers and then cut a slit but I will show you I will demonstrate that so this is the spine for size 5 I couldn't fit two and these are the flaps for size 5 uh, flaps and inserts so they will fit as an insert and as a flap so this is my new design these are double flat uh, double folded flaps but you can cut this off and you will have a tag with flaps or you can fold them onto each other and then have sort of a yeah i will <laughs> show you what i mean here i have a few of the larger ones two with flaps and this is just one you can fold in half and these are small ones and then I'm coming to the butterfly envelopes I have two sizes size 1 and 2 so these are really fun to make also and then I have a one with smaller and I also made belly bands so you can of course think about something else that you can use this for but well you can um, decide what you want and also what I can show you this is an extra <laughs> I wanted to uh, try it out so I want to put size 6 uh, in the right order so that I know where it is so like this and here you can see the difference in the color so it was a little bit more newspaper color at first there is the large cover and then I went to this color so here you can see that I changed it and I worked really hard to make it uh, I also have a, a really nice laptop who doesn't like me sometimes so I'm sitting for hours and hours at a time sometimes so I will flip through it it's the same but it is a little bit different because I made um, so th these are templates and if I say the word templates I always think about Jump of Eve designs because I when I first saw templates with a distressed edge uh, and that is what she came up with not uh, the templates of course and there are a lot of shapes and templates are used uh, all over the place but templates with a distressed edge that you can uh, print over anything you want and that is my idea so here you have something that comes out of the flow and if you cut this out that will be really really fun you can of course then make the appearance of uh, and th this is what I love of a junk journal or um, an art book so uh, and that is what I'm going to make as well so here you can see my template uh, printing over a magazine page and that is what I'm really passionate about so this is what I'm working towards that you can use my templates um, yeah to make art to make junk journals to use um, yeah to use things over and over again so like not to use new paper you know but to use what you have and this is also a, an idea so here are the belly bands see how fun that is here you have with text here it says music for the soul in Dutch 
music for the seal and all fun text here you have flow <laughs> and here you have these music uh, sheets so this is my idea to make sort of a junk journal slash mini album so that will be sort of a hybrid if i i don't know if you call it like that like that but this will be my next mini 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 album i will make it out of magazine uh, pages solely magazine pages so and here is a template and what i want to sh uh, share is that with the templates i also made an insert for the cover so this is the cover again this is the template for an insert i made it a little bit smaller so that you also can make this into a smaller cover so you have an extra uh, in the templates i did um, make a few extra pages that you don't have with uh, with the design uh, so and this is then the spine and if you don't like this distressed edge because in the larger size uh, yeah the lines are a little bit big and i knew that so i did try to make them a little bit smaller in my next design i did uh, overcome that problem so that is now fixed but in this design this was my very first time that i was making templates like this so it is of course um yeah not easy to make something that you can print over uh, anything you want and that was my goal so i also made a watercolor edge so this is uh uh, of course totally diff different but also I made it into shape and my next shape is a true butterfly shape so it has more butterfly wings so that will be my next uh, design it's also really I'm really excited about that so here you have uh, all the rest of the spines so I made uh, different sizes for the spines and I also made a really fun, fun uh, smaller size, but This is now the smallest one this is the middle one so the middle one is looking like this with flaps attached that's the pink one let me see see so and i attached the flap on this onto that to make a flip book so that is also what you can do and here you will then have the flaps to do that so here here is the bodice from that and here are the flaps for that see here i cut a little bit too much off but you get the idea so this is attached onto that and then you will get this and here the same I did that on both ends to make a flip book and now I made it a little bit like this and this is also my third design that I will be releasing really soon so that is this one and this one is a little bit darker now so let me uh, let me know which one you like more the darker one or this one so here is with a bodice and here are just the cards so, and now i'm really working on this one to make it exactly the same size as that so that is what i'm doing right now so here you will have the three full tags because i had a little bit more room here i did it a little bit more differently because these have uh, skinnier lines so 
I also want to give you a choice in spines. This is the in width, it is the largest one, and that is in two for the smallest size. So, this is the really smallest size. Here, I did it also differently. Let me know if you want anything different. So, I could change it if you are going to work with it, and then I can change it. So, this is the size 2 and this is size 3 and here you have the same as I showed you so the fold tags but then a template one here is the other sheet only I changed this one and here are the envelopes so the envelopes can be printed over everything as I showed you so that will look like this if you uh, if you will print it out the small one over a magazine page that will look like this and the other side is really fun also so now you can choose what which side you want for the for the butterflies uh, envelopes little small envelopes really cute that's also a cute idea so the larger ones you can do that with so, so this one and then this one and i also with the with this design with the templates i made an extra sheet Templates. So these are fold tags and fold tags and fold tags. So this is the whole package. And then also what is uh, with the package package are the is the add-ons are the add-ons so included. So you will have these cards. This I printed onto a watercolor paper. So that's also what makes it different. So that's also a good idea to do. So add-ons and everything else I will show you in a different video because then it will get so long. But so I will see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Hey!